It goes without saying that acting requires some sort of transformation, but some roles require the actor to commit to changing themselves beyond a simple game of make-believe. Not detracting from the art of acting there, it's just... I mean, physical transformations. That's why we're... just get off my back. Given that superhero movies tend to require a certain commitment to genetic brilliance, the actors chosen to pull on the always unflattering spandex costumes have to look superhuman, and that means they tend to have to build lots of muscle, cut all fat, and generally transform themselves into fictional juggernauts. I'm Ben from Wad Culture, and here are the 10 most radical body transformations for comic book movies. Number 10. Tom Hardy, The Dark Knight Rises Weight gain, 30 pounds. The secret to Tom Hardy's performance as Bane was all about the perception of power. He was shot in a way that made him look taller than Christian Bale, with angles deliberately chosen to amplify his bulk. Inevitably, the role also involved a heavy workout regimen. The Englishman already had a good foundation, having trained hard to get into convincing fighting condition for Warrior, but he needed to bulk to sell the idea that Bane could break Batman. He did so admirably, piling on an additional 30 pounds of muscle to completely transform his physique. Number 9. Thomas Jane, The Punisher. Weight gain, 20 pounds. Though the film didn't do too well, you have to admire what Thomas Jane put himself through for 2004's The Punisher. He teamed up with Mike Mello, a California police officer and SWAT tactics trainer who put him through intense military-style preparation, including multiple martial art disciplines and military psychology. He also bulked up by 20 pounds, all muscle, thanks to a strict diet of eight meals a day of protein, beans and chicken, and intense PT training. Number 8. Hugh Jackman, The Wolverine. Weight gain, 25 pounds. When Hugh Jackman first came to play Wolverine in X-Men, he didn't have the luxury of a lot of time to prepare for the role, so his Logan was a little softer around the edges than we might have been used to. He wasn't cuddly or anything, but when you look back at that period and compare it to Wolvie's look in his first real solo movie, the difference is terrifying. Clearly keen to make the Berserker look the part for the Wolverine, Jackman turned to the most qualified meathead on the planet, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, who gave him the sage advice he needed to pack on 25 pounds of muscle and cut to a very lean condition. Number 7. Henry Cavill, Man of Steel. Weight gain, 20 pounds. Coming into Man of Steel, Henry Cavill was not in Superman condition, having slimmed down to 170 pounds for the awful Immortals. Naturally, something had to change, and in order to gain 20 pounds of muscle, he worked with Mark Twight, the man famously responsible for turning the 300 cast into underwear models, training twice a day and eating five to 6,000 calories. Five months before production began, Cavill managed to bulk to 190 pounds and cut his body fat for his shirtless scenes to a ridiculous 3%, which is less than an apple, probably. Probably, I think. Number 6. Chris Hemsworth, Thor The Dark World. Weight gain, 30 pounds. Unless you're Loki, if you come from Asgard, you have to look like an actual god, mostly because that's exactly what you are. And there are some rigid expectations of what Norse demi deities look like, which made it necessary for star Chris Hemsworth to hit the protein and the gym in a big way when he was cast for Thor. Hemsworth actually had to bulk to Thor size twice in quick succession after he was cast to play 185 pound James Hunt in Rush Between the Avengers and Thor The Dark World, so he deserves double praise considering that meant losing and rebuilding a massive 30 pounds of muscle. Number 5. Ben Affleck, Batman v Superman. Weight gain, 33 pounds. Thanks in part to Henry Cavill's hulking Superman, Ben Affleck was forced to hit the gym heavily when he was cast in Batman v Superman. He needed to look like a superhero capable of taking on the Man of Steel in open combat and not being squashed like a bug. It was also necessary to get big to cope with the costume requirements, as the bat suit alone weighed 75 pounds, and Affleck took to bulking like a bat duck to bat water, getting up to 231 bat pounds at his bat heaviest with just 7.7% body bat. Fat. Body... body fat. They eventually cut him to 225 for the final film, but that's some serious weight gain. Number 4. Chris Evans, Captain America. Weight gain? 20 pounds. Though he had played a superhero before in the Fantastic Four movies, Chris Evans came into the MCU without the necessary size to play Captain America. He didn't need to be Hulk big, per se, but if you're gonna play a super soldier, you have to look both super and like a soldier, Chris. Evans turned to Simon Waterson to bulk up, cutting body fat to around 12% and increasing his muscle mass quickly, focusing on high weight, low rep sets, and intense cardio focused on his legs to get his heart working fast over time. Number 3. Thomas Hayden Church, Spider-Man 3. Weight gain, 
£28. Had Thomas Hayden Church gone with the offer of doing RV with Robin Williams, he could have saved himself an intensive preparation schedule for Spider-Man 3 that saw him dump fat and build a lot of muscle. And that commitment was all the more impressive because of the actor's age when he went through the work. Despite being over 40, Hayden Church stacked on the muscle, particularly on his upper body, and ended up looking like a 1920s docker, which suited the character perfectly, even if it wasn't the most enjoyable experience for him. Or us, actually, watching that film. Not good. Number 2. Christian Bale, Batman Begins. Weight gain, 99 pounds! What? It's almost a cliche to talk about Christian Bale losing and gaining weight for roles. He's very much in the school of method that says he'll punish his body as much as possible if it fits the character. He's basically a yo-yo. Having made the machinist as a skeletal near ghost, Bale was cast for Batman Begins and went about bulking in ridiculously impressive fashion. He packed on an incredible near 100 pound mass in just a matter of months, which must have been both fun and horrific all at once, and was then forced to cut 30 pounds when he overshot. Inevitably, because he's Bale, that wasn't an issue. Number 1. Chris Pratt, Guardians of the Galaxy. Weight loss? 60 pounds! There is no better poster boy for normal guys getting into action movie shape than Chris Pratt. He went from being the pudgy, brilliant Andy Dwyer in Parks and Recreation to being an Adonis with abs that looked almost photoshopped. Why can't we have them too? His in-show Parks and Rec excuse for the weight change, by the way, was simply that he'd stopped drinking beer. If only it were that simple. His transformation from couch potato to fitness model is the stuff of legend. Over six months, he shed 60 pounds, mostly by cutting out beer, so that's at least true, and working out for three or four hours a day, including gym work, running, swimming, boxing, and kickboxing. No thank you. But good work, but no thank you. And that's our list. Make sure you subscribe to the What Culture YouTube channel for more lists like this, and don't forget to visit whatculture.com for daily news and articles. I'm Ben from What Culture, and thanks for watching.